What is up guys? My name is Charnesia Nicole and I am the owner of Fearless Fitness DFW, a personal training program turned health coaching program. I have been in the fitness industry for the last 12 years and I have had an amazing journey training women of all shapes, sizes, backgrounds, career paths, wants, needs. Um, into being their own fit and that just means that they get to choose what they want to feel like they get to choose their healthy they get to choose what they look like and they are completely in control of their health that journey has led me here to health coaching and being able to share some amazing tips strategies and resources with you guys so that you guys can be your own fit and choose your own healthy so without further ado today we are going to talk about morning routines we're going to talk about um, why it's important to have a morning routine um, how it affects your health and some strategies that you can use to make your morning routine efficient so that you can have a healthy mindset to start your day. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a scenario that I think that we all can relate to, um, whether you are working from home right now or transitioning to work back into the office. So you're supposed to be at work at eight o'clock. You set your alarm for 6 a.m. because you are gonna make sure that you are ready for your day. You're gonna do your makeup. You're gonna have your outfit ironed out. You're gonna make breakfast. You're gonna enjoy your coffee. You're gonna do all these things, right? But your alarm clock goes off at 6 a.m. and you see absolutely no reason why you should need to get up two hours before it's time for you to go to work. So you press the snooze button about four or five times and before you know it it is 7 25 and you hop out of bed quickly you brush your teeth wash your face do the bare minimum to get you out the door you make your coffee you're not eating breakfast you hop in the car and you're on your way to work you get caught in traffic and you're yelling at everybody to move out of the way because you need to be at work at eight o'clock you pull up to work at 8.05. People are saying good morning to you. You are not in the mood. Not yet. You have not finished your coffee. Don't talk to me. And you go straight to your desk and start looking at emails. So this can also be transferred into working from home. You're not supposed to be at work till 8 o'clock. So guess what? You don't wake up till 7.50. You brush your teeth, wash your face, and log in, sit down, enjoy your coffee, and look at your emails. And you're already irritated at the first email because why are people starting stuff early in the morning? You're not ready. And... I bring up those two scenarios because they are very relatable in our daily life. And what we don't realize is when we start our mornings like that, it kickstarts stress. We are already before 10 o'clock, we are thinking all of these thoughts of why are people getting on your nerves? Um, all the things that you have to do, how far behind you are in your day. Um, you may be hungry or you may not even realize that you're hungry and you're being catty to people unintentionally or um, saying things in a way that expresses that you are irritated. And it just goes back to that it is important for us to start our days in a manner that is going to set us up for success, that is going to allow us to flow through our day or give us a better chance of flowing and being able to problem solve instead of already being stressed out and then when problems are presented to us that we're unable to uh, work through these problems because you didn't even have any time to yourself this morning. Starting your day like this not only affects you, but it also affects the people around you, whether it is your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, or even your children. Um, imagine you waking up flustered and then 
transferring that energy over to your partner or your child um, because you haven't had the opportunity to um, ease into your day. A lot of the time we miss breakfast and drinking water. So the first thing is in order to kickstart your digestive system, you need to replenish your body of water and fuel. Our body gets energy from food. Um, and when you're sleeping, that's a whole five to eight hours of um, not having anything to eat or drink. So we need to replenish that energy. That is going to help us feel more awake in the morning. The second thing is that you need that time to yourself before you can give to other people. It is important that you have time to process your thoughts before your day starts. You have time to process what your plan is for your day. Um, even if it's just jotting down a few things uh, to do for your to-do list. It will help you feel more organized. It will help you feel calmer. It will help you feel more in control of um, your body and the environment around you. Some things that I would suggest um, that you do is to wake up at least an hour before it is time for you to leave for the day. Um, not before it's time for you to get to work because you still need a certain amount of time to commute to your job. So waking up an hour before will help you to be able to process your thoughts. Um, drink some water. It doesn't have to be a whole bottle of water, but drink half of the bottle of water just to give your body a, a quick flush. Take time to look presentable for your day. I can't tell you how many times as a teacher, I was stressed out, I, I ain't care. I'm sleeping until the last minute, I'm jumping out of bed and I'm on my way to work, I don't care how I look. But I did realize that I was more self-conscious about how people perceived me, not because they were seeing me a certain way, but because I felt uncomfortable with the way that I looked in the morning. Um, me waking up, I wake up two hours, three hours. I wake up at five o'clock every morning. Um, I wake up three hours before it is time for me to be at work. And I take pride in making sure that I feel presentable. Not that I look good for anybody else, but that I uh, feel comfortable with the way that I look because it helps me to feel confident in what I'm saying. I work in a very um, people-centered job uh, during the day and when I train my clients and when I coach my clients. So, um, I got people looking at me all day, so I wanna make sure that I look presentable. I am gonna make sure that I eat because if I don't eat, anybody who knows me knows that I am very irritable prior to not eating. Also, I'm gonna make sure that I drink my coffee at home and not on my way to work. I enjoy um, having my devotional and I'll, I'll uh, do another video on my actual morning routine. I'm not doing the morning routine for y'all because no. But I will tell y'all, you know, what I do. But I enjoy having my morning coffee and doing my devotional and spending time with God. Um, it makes me feel grounded. It makes me feel in so much, it makes me feel so much more in control of my day. And I'm more, um, I'm softer when my partner wakes up and you know she wants to talk or you know I can be a better service when I get to work I smile when I walk through the door and um, I'm happier instead of me just dragging my feet and um, waiting until the last minute to get up. So guys, our overall goal in our morning routine and making sure that we establish a morning routine is so that we can live more productive, healthier lives. It does wonders for your health. It does wonders for your skin. It does wonders for relationships and building relationships and 
um, maintaining healthy boundaries, not only for yourself, but for other people. So I hope this video was helpful to you. Um, if it was, go ahead and hit the like button and the subscribe button. Share this video with all of your people um, and I will see you guys next time.